Breaking GOP senators request criminal investigation of Trump dossier author. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And today we have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of The Hill. And it says that two Republican senators are asking the Department of Justice to open a criminal investigation into Christopher Steele, the author of a controversial research opposition dossier on President Donald Trump. Senators Chuck Grassley of Iowa and Lindsey Graham of South Carolina sent a letter to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray asking that they investigate if the former MI6 agent lied to federal authorities. Grassley said in a statement, quote, I don't take lightly making a referral for criminal investigation, but as I would with any credible Uh, credible evidence of a crime unearthed in the course of our investigation feel obliged to pass that information along to the Justice Department for appropriate review. That's what he said, folks. Lindsey Graham added, quote, after reviewing how Mr. Steele conducted himself in distributing information contained in the dossier and how many stop signs the DOJ ignored in its use of the dossier, I believe that a special counsel needs to review this matter. Like I said, folks, this is breaking news is developing as we speak. And someone by the name of Jacob Wall um, said on here, let me see where is it? Here we go. So Jacob Wool on Twitter said, breaking the Senate Intel Committee has issued their first criminal referral in the Russia investigation. They are recommending charges for Christopher Steele, the author of the phony Russia dossier. It says that Senators Chuck Grassley and Lindsey Graham formally told the DOJ that Christopher Steele lied to congressional investigators about the contacts with the media. So this is what both uh, Grassley and also uh, Lindsey Graham sent to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and Director Ray, saying, quote, Attach, please find a classified memorandum related to certain communications between Christopher Steele and multiple U.S. news outlets regarding the so-called Trump dossier that Mr. Steele compiled on behalf of Fusion GPS for the Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee and also it provided to the FBI. Based on the information contained therein, we are respectfully referring Mr. Steele to you for investigation of potential violations of 18 U.S.C. 1001 for statements that the committee has reason to believe that Mr. Steele made regarding his distribution of information contained in that dossier. So that's what they sent to both... um, Attorney, uh, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Ray, folks. This is breaking right now. Jacob Wool finished off by saying that the only person who the Senate Intel Committee's Russia investigation recommends charges for is Christopher Steele, a foreign spy who was working for Hillary Clinton. So if you guys know, might know, Um, They have the DOJ has reopened the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails and also they have reopened the investigation into the Clinton Foundation pay for play folks. They want to see if any of those reports are true. So they're investigating that and also the, the letter that James Comey was supposed to read. When he spoke regarding the Clinton email investigation has been released, folks, if he would have read the, the, le- the, the statement that he was supposed to read the correct way and not the edited way, then we would have been talking about felony charges for Hillary Clinton. But since he read the edited version of that uh, of that letter, then As you guys know, nothing happened to Hillary Clinton. Everything, you know, they thought that it was over. But guess what? It has been reopened all over again with the original letter that was supposed to be read by uh, by James Comey. Okay, so 
This is all breaking right now. This is all starting to to come out. And uh, we hope that something comes of it. We do hope that they have a special counsel for uh, for this with the Christopher Steele stuff. And we hope that they do have a special counsel for Hillary Clinton. But we can only hope right now. The other hope that we have is that uh, that Jeff Sessions actually doesn't recuse himself from all of this. Okay, there's a big possibility that Jeff Sessions will recuse himself. We hope that he doesn't, but there's a big chance that he will. So stay tuned here at Golden State Times. We'll bring you everything that is going on, all the breaking news, all the developing news, all that stuff here at Golden State Times. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, Give this report a thumbs up and share it on social media. Also, make sure to check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and sign up to our newsletter. You can sign up on our website at goldenstatetimes.com or by using the link in the description below. You guys will get a newsletter packed full of news and breaking news and videos you might have missed, all that good stuff every single day straight to your inbox. So make sure you guys sign up. Thank you very much for joining us. Please let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and I'll see you soon. Peace.